Roger, it's absolutely lovely to see you here today. Of course, we've seen you this season on Game of Thrones shooting the Purple Wedding. Now, tell me all about that. Um, we took a public park for a month and we dressed it. We put in fountains and fish that had not been there previously. We put in a giant lion's head from which actors could emerge. They put in tables, they had food, they had doves and a pie. And I said to the director, all this for a bit of telly. And he said, no, no, no it's a 70 hour movie. And that contextualizes it. That's what's so extraordinary about Game of Thrones in general is that it's not telly, it's, a, it's an event, it's a life event. It's remarkable, actually. Now, I know you weren't totally familiar with the show when you came on board, although you boned up, didn't you, on the box set for season two. So what was your reaction when they staged Joffrey's death in that purple wedding scene? Well, I knew it was coming, you see. We have the scripts, that's the problem. It's, being in a show isn't the same thing as watching a show and sharing it. It's a much more technical process. Uh, and moreover, of course, you've only seen Joffrey die once on screen, but we saw him do it several times from several different cam camera angles. Uh, the one thing that isn't different about this job is that it's an acting job and you just get on and do it, interestingly. Uh, nice location, though. Yeah. Gorgeous. And also the trial you were an important member of as well, Tyrion's trial, which we've just seen recently. Tell me a little bit about shooting that. Well, that was the one where, that was the first scene I did. Where I wasn't quite sure the relationship between the characters. Um, there, was, there was a fairly vitriolic blog about how I should have boned up on things. But actually, there wasn't time between being cast and starting. It was cast one week out to Belfast costume fittings and then out again to start shooting. I, 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 so I knew very little about it. And it's not uncommon to get a little introductory pack uh, and I didn't have one. It was like, I turned up and there you go. So, But it was kind of fun. I mean, the thing is, um, in the past two or three years, I've done a, I did a, a movie with Woody Allen in which I wasn't allowed to see the script. And I also did a movie with Mike Lee in which I spent several weeks researching the script. So, you know, you go from one end to the other, which is right, neither is right. We're actors, we turn up and we act is what we do. Now, of course, you work with some fantastic actors in the show. Charles Dance as Tywin. You worked with um, Dinah Rigg, who plays your mother in the show. Um, tell me a little bit about working with those guys. And also Peter Dinklage, who plays Tyrion, too. Um, oh, where to begin? I mean, remarkable people, one and all. Um, Peter Dinklage is one of the most remarkable actors I've ever worked with, period. Nothing else to say about him, marvellous man. Uh, I had worked with Charles uh, years and years and years and years ago. Charles became a star precipitously uh, after his role in Jewel in the Crown. And I worked with him on the next show he did. I was a very young actor, it might have been my first telly even. And uh, so he was sort of feeling his way and it was interesting. But now of course he's a super confident, super experienced and excellent in that role. That was a remarkable performance. Diana. I mean, everyone who works with the great dames, Diana, Judy Dench, um, um, Elaine, not Elaine, Eileen Atkins and so on, um, they all say how marvellous these people are. I've worked with Eileen before, she's marvellous. Turns out Diana, yeah, marvellous, actually, because these are people at the top of their game, they've got nothing to do, they're very relaxed, happy, fantastic people. One of the great privileges of my life, working with Diana. That's great to hear. I mean, you were filming the trial in Belfast, though, weren't you, right, as opposed to Croatia? No, uh, Diana, we had scenes... Um, was she? Yes, she was in Belfast, I say. I can't remember. But certainly she was in Croatia, because the wedding was shot in Croatia. Uh, I think she must have been in Belfast, yes. Yes, because the, yes, the wedding... The Oh, oh that's a spoiler. I'm, I'm going to stop. No, she was probably in Belfast. <laughs> Now, of course, we've seen the wedding, we've seen the trial as well. What do you think about the possibility that George R. R. Martin's mooted recently about a Game of Thrones movie? Is that the kind of thing you'd like to see? I mean, you've already said they shoot the TV show like a movie, so but this would be maybe, I don't know, a two-hour movie. Yeah, it's just going to be like a super, super, super big episode, isn't it? Um, they do, they're do they structured very carefully, and it's, it's a major, major bit of storytelling. Um, I, a movie, I love it, you know, bring it on. I, I can't wait, I just can't wait. Now, how likely are we to see you in the next season? Because we love your character in the show. You are certainly likely to see me in the next season. It, it was confirmed yesterday, actually. Fantastic. Yeah. And what would you like to see your character get up to next time? I'd like to see him singing songs with a lute. Ah, I love it. <laughs> I, I, mean, I have no idea if he will. I just, I'm just guessing. That's just what I'd like to do. Because you have your own background in music, don't you? I know well? it happens, yes. And it'd be quite nice to kind of bring it in somehow. But I, I should say, I've seen none of the scripts. I don't know what's happening. There's no suggestion of Luton singing. I just, I'd quite like to do it.